So I want to go through uh, this uh, video, this <coughs> log of the results of um, of yours, Gavin. OK, um, and I might because it's anonymous, I might share this actually with my students because I think it's a great example of several things. First of all, not everybody has to, but it is useful if they keep Excel spreadsheets. OK, now, not everybody has to. You don't have to do this for trading if you don't want and the brokers have it. But it is makes my life a bit easier. And what I really liked about this is how you've broken it down. And I've asked apprentices to do this in the past, but it's really great because yours is a really good example of what you actually did, what the results would have been if you followed what I had suggested, which is the stepped stop losses, and even better, if you had, or not even better, but also the alternative, the intermediate alternative of exiting at the second take profit. So what happens uh, on these variations that I have? So what you did, and then how that becomes a lot better if you follow the advice that I'd given, and then the sort of halfway house where you just exit at the second take profit. So um, the step stop loss, and we'll look at the actual trades in a second, using my recommended approach of step stop losses, let me just move that out of the way. And for those who've not looked at them, uh, and what I talk about, any of my apprentices who've not looked at it, it's alpishpatel.com forward slash uh, uh, actual, uh, sorry, forward slash know how, that's where it is, okay? Uh, wait to be taken out by uh, when you hit the second take profit, stop loss at first, and so on. Exactly correct. Second take profit, straight exit when the price hits the second take profit level. And yours, it, it's a great example of one of the things that I tell apprentices, look, don't just show me the trades you've done. Ideally, I want you to monitor and make a note of the ones of, of what happened in the ones you took, what would have happened in the ones you didn't take in terms of the alternatives, not just I would have entered here, got out here, or I did get in, get out here. But don't you learn so much more by monitoring the, the ones that got away, let's put it that way, the ones you didn't take and be able to say, well, actually, if I followed Alpish's advice here and then did this, I would have made this much. And if I didn't follow his advice and just did what I used to do, I would have made this much and so on. And that's what you've done. Now, let's look through your trades, Gavin. What's actually happened? And like I said, because it's anonymized, um, I, I want to share this with the um with with the other apprentices so you've got a whole good range there you've got buys and sells you've written down the entries the stop losses the size of trades the first take profits the exits on the second take profits the exit step the actual and your results and what i like about this again it's it's very quickly um you've got a 40 percent return so you're very much on target you can see the profits there the um uh, the amounts there but what i liked about this was let's just go back to the summary seat sheet OK, we get to that 40 percent in a couple of months, which means you're on target for 100, 200 percent by the end of the year. OK, but you've managed to keep your risk. OK, you've kept your total number of um, trades and the risks and so on, and you've kept it to a, a, a sensible level. All very good. Um, you've itemized it, you've compared things, and I like all of that. So thank you very much for doing that. And also, oh, by the way, one of the other things that I really appreciated you doing is you noted the arrows. Um, how many arrows were in the direction of the signal? Again, we're looking for correlations and patterns uh, for those. And the results, break even, losses, wins, and so on. The bottom line, which actually matters for us because it was uh, about the money that you make, uh, is that one. And uh, I guess in a very nice way, you have statistically shown what I'm trying to get across to people. Um, but it's far more important coming from apprentices. There's no point me putting these together and saying, well, this is what somebody with 20 years experience does. It's a lot better coming from an apprentice because if there's user error, if you say, hey, Albus, you know, I found this really, really difficult, that's useful to know. So thank you very much indeed for putting all this together. Thank you.